Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I wanted to highlight my top 10 favorite things about Season 7. Real quick, shout out to EA for allowing me to capture early access footage of Season 7 Apex Legends by the EA Game Changer program. So let's just dive into it. Really excited. So also remember to leave a like, subscribe, comment. Any bit of support really, really helps out on the channel. We're uploading a lot of videos today and I'm sorry for the spam. I really, really apologize, but there's just so much exciting stuff to talk about. So I'm gonna go through top 10 best things that I really dig about season seven so far. Number one, the Trident. The vehicle's not overpowered and it feels like the Warthog from the Halo days. It's easy to drive, does not get blown up unless thrown off the map, and it's really fast. It can be affected by watts and fences, arc stars, and slows it down when shooting at it. It doesn't slow down when you're shooting at it, but I meant to say it slows down with the arc stars and fences. It hurts people on the inside, so my point is. It's really balanced, it's not overpowered, but it provides great opportunities for rotations, and I really, really like that. It can be affected by jump pads. You can throw Gibby bubbles on it for cover and even Horizon's black hole and tactical also affect it. So it provides a sandbox. I, I feel like they did a great job with this. I hope it continues to play in a fantastic way on the live environment, but it's just a ton of fun. Even also, even the thing I just thought about just even outside of the just notes that I took is that you can literally throw off the throw it off the, uh, the edge and when you throw off the edge it shoots you 100% verticality and then at that point you could probably get into a unique gunfight I don't know just, just thoughts I'm just throwing things out there I'm just excited I hope this really brings a huge level of play onto the game I have to say it was actually fearful initially but it's pretty dope number two the map it is hands down the best map I've played in Apex Legends. You can tell that a lot of love went into this map you literally can just walk around and I, you, I hope you agree once you see the footage and everything that and I don't want this to like backfire and age against me, but I really liked it. It's well balanced. There just seems way less chokes. Even there was one spot by the portals that just everyone was third parting like crazy, like crazy because it's kind of the center of the map. But you have the port, you can get out. And even by the port, they thought of this. If you get somebody now, uh, if you get somebody knocked, they put a little ledge so people can't get past it. Now. A friend also said, you know what, you can probably use Horizon's Q to push them over. You can use a jump pad to get them through. But that's a level of play. That's the interesting stuff. That's the big brain play. So excited. The map is absolutely gorgeous from what I've seen from the color palettes, also from what you've seen. And the environments all feel unique. There's a ton of verticality in this map. So even if one level is based like, okay, that I just see the map, there's usually an underground portion of it, which really adds a way to get out, a way to rotate, a way to fight. There's just a lot of alternatives here. And I have to say, with the way this map is, it makes me not want to play King's Canyon anymore. It just makes it feel obsolete. It makes it feel like an ineffective map for this game, and I just don't want to go back to it anymore. This just gives the characters a way to thrive, and it makes a less campy playstyle. I hope. We'll see how that plays out. Could be wrong, but from what, the, what we play tested, there was a lot of fun engagements. It was It's the way Apex Legends should play, but not to the point where it's just third-party central that we have issues with currently of Kings Canyon. So number three, Horizon. I really enjoyed playing her. She's a great addition to the group. I love what she adds in terms of layer of creativity. She's not overpowered, but she adds a fun level to the game. Something She's not restricted like Loba, and she actually has something potent at the start, unlike Revenant, which took patches to really consider him. Check out my guide, uh, if you can, if you'd like, on Horizon and her insane aim capabilities, especially when she's dropping on a team, getting out of a balloon. She's got potential, man. She's got it, and it's exciting. Number four, they created the Prowler, and the R99 is back. The R99 in the crate, has ne just it just never felt right. Even when you pull it as a crate weapon, it just didn't seem like it was a good fit, and also... It provides more versatility for the light ammo gun game. The Prowler going in makes a ton of sense because of the burst and auto. You don't have to... It, it removes the clutter of both that from the loot pole. Of course, they replaced it with the Wingman one, but still nonetheless, removing stuff from the loot pole and making it a little bit more effective is probably the way you want to go. And towards the end, the burst itself was very overpowered in my opinion. Almost a level of the Hemlock. Honestly, you could put the Hemlock also in the crate and that would be fine too. But having this gun back on the loot floor shows it's a fan favorite. The Wingman and R99 combo is back. Check out the other video with the Wingman hop up to learn more about that because I've talked about how, because you can switch so quickly if you get the quick draw holster hop up. So all really exciting. So number five, clubs. While I want this number to be larger, it's a massive start to be building a community because right now I think it's capped at 30. It needs to go above and beyond that. It needs to feel like a guild, and you need to have like in-game chat where you just build like a guild. It'd be so sick. I think one thing is missing as well is just having that sense of community in-game, and this is a first step. 
So again, I talked about the issue of it being quite low, but this is a starting point. I can see clubs really taking off where it feels like an MMO. It builds community, a schedule, plan hangouts. I know you can do that on a Discord, but it feels like there's just a disconnect. And with cross-play platform, I would love, love, love to connect to more of you guys on the console side of things and really, really start to really grow this community. Also, clubs can be searched publicly, which is also really sick in helping you find a right club for you. The downside, again, I wanted to push the right right to the next level. But we'll, but we'll see how when we get there. Number six, map performance. One of my biggest issues you have seen recently from the streams and playing is I keep having frame rate problems. Since the aftermarket patch was released, I've been thinking my computer was dying, my GPU was dying, my CPU was dying. I don't know what it is. Maybe my computer is dying. But when I played season seven on this play test, I know FPS issues. It was the best the game has ever felt, even from the menus and for from the test range. I just pray, I pray, 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 pray that when this comes out on launch, that it doesn't get bugged down. I really, really, really hope, because I want good frame rate. This is a great direction that they're going in. Please continue this performance that I saw when I play tested. If it comes out and it's laggy and there's FPS issues, then my number six point goes away. I'm just gonna be honest, but it was so good. So please, the game is insane. It gets me so excited just to talk about it because I'm having so many issues currently on the aftermarket in season six. Okay, number seven, the vibrant colors. Again, we talked about this for map design, but also the way they've shaped up the color palette, even for the main menu. I really like it. It just pops. It brings personality to the game. It reminds me of Halo. It reminds me of those, I, I know they've tried to go gritty for a while, but huge props because this game just pops a lot more. Now, number eight, gun adjustments. So it's clearly more care on the weapon balance and I feel more games are viable in various encounters. I feel the current game, as I agree with a good friend of mine, does suffer from a bloated loot pool, but I can tell the direction is massively improving. This goes into my other points at number 10, which we're gonna talk about in just a minute. So as mentioned, real quick, here's an example of a gun change with the L-Star. Also my live reaction too. Nice, let me, let me shoot the L-Star. Yo, you're right, dude. There's so much less slash on this. It's nice. Finally. I can see. That's insane, dude. Wait, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. ADS with the All-Star, you can actually see your bullets. Oh my goodness. That's so much better, though. Yeah, here. I'll, I'll... So number nine, the character balance. If they continue on this route, this is the best I've ever seen the character balance in Apex Legends. Pathfinder feels way more viable. I know they nerfed him to our poor boy to the ground. Watson is still a strong counter, but not required. Lifeline is also in a really good spot. She feels pretty balanced. Wraith slightly tuning makes her more competitive and viable for this map. Gibby's still a tank. Octane is better than I've seen him because prior before I just completely despised him, but they keep changing him to put him in a better better spot. And Revenant has his places for great pushes. Crypto and Bloodhound makes also great scouts for the for their classes. But honestly, there's two legends that do need some love. But nonetheless, I don't look at it as a bad thing because they've never really been viable is Loba and Rampart. They just really lack something. Her, Loba's Q is just really bad in Rampart. I just don't really understand her place. I think she kind of works on King's Canyon, but nobody likes that meta and level of play. I think Rampart has to be figured out. But nonetheless, that's two legends out of like the bulk. I know I'm gonna skip a few, but nonetheless, everything feels really, really tight and really solid. And of course, Horizon feels good. So number 10, no new weapon. I thought I was gonna be mad about this because I can't do a guide on how to improve your aim with the new weapon, but I'm actually really happy there's a new, new gun to break the balance. Every time they introduce a new gun, it ruins the loot pull, something gets screwed up, and right now, no new weapon is a positive thing. Let's focus on the other great things in the game that don't break, like the trident, the map, the characters, and the overall performance gains that, that I hope continue onwards, because I truly believe Season 7 is going to be the best season of Apex Legends. Hope you agree. Be sure to check out my other videos, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you guys out there. chill, bro. Took out one of their things. Nice. Was one of them close? Yeah, one of them's close. One of them's close. Yeah, they got the black hole. Watch out, watch out, watch out. I'm in it. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm chilling right here. Flesh on her? She's really low. I'm gonna bat though. Which one? Oh, the horizon. Alright. I was like, what's. Cracked. Rampart cracked. 777 flesh. <laughs> They're right underneath you. Is there somebody else coming? Batting real quick uh, again? I wouldn't, I wouldn't doubt if we get 30 off of this. They're dibbing. Are they? 
I mean, they just, they're like, just kind of split a little bit. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna grapple on the guy on, on yeah, the Yeah, let's roof. go, let's go. I'm coming. Yeah, they're I'm just leaving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh let's my god. Here. Coming up, coming up. You're good. Hang on, I'm getting armor slot. Rampers, 81. Fl oh, okay. <laughs> 52 flesh on Rampart. Oh, I'm dead. You got that? Even just trying to live. Oh, he's, dip, he's, he's, in, he's in the whip. He's cracked. Oh! oh, oh, oh. Another team. Yep. I had a 55. Okay, pushing. Had him in the, the head. Rage is underneath. Cracked. So low. I'm missing right now. I had a 93. Coming he's back. Dead. Last one's back here. Flat yeah. house hand. Yep. Oh. oh my god, he's so low. Good job. Let's go. I didn't do it to him. How many kills you guys act? Because I'm not kill leader. Six? Um, uh, I, have, I, have, I have eight. Okay, that's fine. I was about to say, I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> no, wait a minute. He's <laughs> <laughs> out here with more kills. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see footsteps over here. It's oh, they're not friendly, they're not friendly, they're not friendly, they're not friendly. No, they're they're, they're, they're looking for the win. Yeah, they're, they're not friendly. They're just sending it, they're sending it. I need to take a Phoenix. I need Dad, cover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, running uh, out. I can't, I need, I need to take a Phoenix. They're on the bridge still, they're on the bridge. I, gotta, I, can, I can heal, I'm good, I'm good. I made it across. Right. We good. I almost cracked Octane. I dropped my helmet over there, bro. I'm pissed. Again. Someone's pushing up. Lifeline? Yeah, Lifeline. She's, yeah, she's yellowing. What is he doing? 70? Dude, she's flesh. She's running? Octane? Got him. One. I'm gonna res. Happening right now. These dudes are crackheads. They're all dead. They're all dead. They're all dead. <laughs> Why do they send that like that? I know. that Jesus. We. I was trying to. I was trying to box, bro, and they just sent it. <laughs>